What do you fear that this could do to the LGBTQ community? Um, we worry about mental health outcomes. Um, we worry about negative messaging and kind of what what internalized um, that can mean for LGBTQ communities in terms of increased rates of uh, depression or anxiety or even um, suicidality. J. Irwin specializes in LGBTQ mental health. Irwin says these kinds of statements can be triggering. He calls the sin-based language hurtful and surprising. Religion sometimes is in a difficult position of society is in a different place than what you know, a, a biblical text might have written about um, many, 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 many years ago. Creighton University professor Todd Salzman says nothing has changed in terms of church teaching. The Vatican statement came out as a response to the German Conference of Bishops, who are proposing the possibility of same-sex civil unions. The German bishops are trying to be more proactive in terms of welcoming LGBTQ people, but then the statement seems to put a, a barrier up against that welcoming and hospitable uh, perspective. A Pew Research study from 2019 reports that support for same-sex marriage has increased. Most Catholics, 61% of them say they support it. Do you think the church will ever evolve or shift past this tone it set? Historically, Theologians have, have led the way in terms of the church changing on issues such as slavery, usury or interest taking, uh, uh, torture, <laughs> religious freedom, etc. So the church has evolved and changed. Ultimately, Salzman believes we have to distinguish between the church's institution and the church's people of God. So I think LGBTQ people should feel welcome and follow their consciences and living out their faith and loving relationships. Reporting in Omaha, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now.